Note the reliefs for illegal dismissal. One, for locally employed workers, it's reinstatement without loss of seniority rights and other privileges, back wages, or separation pay with or without back wages if reinstatement is no longer possible or feasible. Number two, for overseas Filipino workers, reimbursement of their placement fee with 12% interest per annum and salaries for the unexpired portion of their employment contract. Three, in appropriate cases, moral damages, exemplary damages, and attorney's fees may be prayed for or granted as a relief. Let's focus a bit on reinstatement. Reinstatement refers to the restoration of the illegally dismissed employee to the position from which he was removed. Under the concept of reinstatement, an employee cannot be ordered reinstated to a position which he never occupied. Only employees who are illegally or unjustly dismissed are entitled to reinstatement. Say, when the severance of employment was not brought about by dismissal but by the employee's abandonment of his employment or refusal to work, reinstatement cannot be ordered. Therefore, if an employee was not dismissed, the relief of reinstatement is not available. Can an employee be denied the right to reinstatement because he has obtained employment elsewhere? The right to reinstatement of an employee adjudged to have been illegally dismissed subsists even though he has obtained employment elsewhere during the pendency of his complaint for illegal dismissal. An illegally dismissed employee cannot be denied the right to reinstatement simply because he has obtained employment elsewhere. If ever he obtained employment elsewhere, it was out of necessity rather than by choice. It would be against all justice and equity to force an employee to choose between starvation and loss of reinstatement.